back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing five things that you can do to help you become your happiest and just live your best life. Over the last few years it's fair to say that I've been through quite a few kind of mindset shifts and changes as well as even over the last few months during lockdown it's given a lot of us a lot of thinking time to just really reflect on a lot of things the things we'd like to change and what we'd like to improve coming from a sort of eating disorder restricted eating background i've had to change a lot of things to find a place of kind of true happiness again and get out of that vicious kind of cycle and everyone deserves to reach that point of true happiness so hopefully these things will help you. The first thing is food rules. For me obviously like I said coming from an eating disorder kind of background having rules around food can interfere with your day so much it can get into your head a lot and it can really mess with you. Then if you go over for example your calorie limit, your macro limit or your food that you're eating doesn't fit into your ideal food type for the day it can weigh on your mind for the rest of the day and just get you feeling down and make you feel bad and guilty and just overall not feel good about it. However once you start to lift those restrictions remove those food rules and just feel free around food have what you want when you want it and truly tune into your body listen to what it's telling you listen to what it's wanting eat when you're hungry stop when you're full and just responding to your body's signals it will make your life so much easier and so much of your thinking time around food and what you're gonna have and when you're gonna have it will just be freed up to think about other things I know that is a lot easier said than done but when you start putting your mind to it and really trying to push through it you will get to a point where you can feel free around food again the second thing is doing something just because everyone else or someone else seems to be doing it you shouldn't have to feel pressured into doing something just because it seems like the right thing to do or it seems like it's what everyone else is doing so you feel like you have to do it too if it doesn't align with you if it doesn't align with your thoughts and what you would like to do the message you'd like to put out there or just whatever it is in general you don't have to do it everyone is so individual and that is such an amazing thing that should be celebrated more if you really don't want to have to do something obviously within reason if it's a law or a strict rule that would otherwise get you in trouble but just talking in your day-to-day -day life just because x person told you to do it it doesn't mean you have to if it's not actually gonna make you feel good and get you feeling motivated and positive about yourself. The third thing which kind of aligns with that is comparing yourself to others. This is something that I've really been trying to work on myself recently. It's so easy, particularly with social media and having recently spent a lot of time at home being able to just sort of scroll through social media all day, it's so easy to get caught up on what other people look like, what they're doing, seeing their successes and thinking, hang on, I don't have that success, I would like that success, and you get jealous of them. But instead of thinking, they've got that, I don't, if someone's successful in something, celebrate it, celebrate it with them, be happy for them, and be happy for where you're at currently as well. When it comes to body image, body positivity, all of that as well, it's so easy to compare yourself, particularly again on social media, where you see all these ideal body types being constantly portrayed and pushed out there, that it can make you feel really insecure and not great about yourself. However, when you start looking at everyone again as individual people, and they are them, you are you, this is still something I'm personally working on, as it's easy to slip into those old habits, or it's easy to just do it without even realising you're doing it, but when you start to focus on it more and pick up on when you're doing it, it's a lot easier to get yourself out of that mindset and really kind of change it around and also one way to kind of get around that is only comparing yourself to you compare yourself to how you were a month ago a year ago and look at your own progress then you'll start to realize how far you actually have come and you'll be able to celebrate the successes that you have had another thing that kind of goes along with that is caring what others think it's so easy to get caught up in what others may think of what you say what you do how you dress how you look but at the end of the day if you're putting something aside that will make you happy simply because you don't think it's what they'll approve of then you shouldn't be doing that do the thing that will make you happy do the thing that you want to do because at the end of the day it's your life not theirs and you should be allowed to freely do the things that you want to do and make the choices that you want to make and say the things that you want to say because that is 
is you as a person. And when you start being honest and true about who you are and showing yourself as a person, the right people will find you and you will get to genuinely lead the life that you want to live. Leading on from that, the fifth thing is letting go of toxic friendships, relationships, whatever it may be, just people in your life who have a negative impact on you. Whether that's because they're directly doing something to you and making you feel bad about yourself and putting you down, or whether that's just simply because something about them just doesn't align with you and makes you feel uncomfortable or unsure of yourself in any kind of way. Again, I know this is a lot easier said than done and will take time to work on, but removing those people from your life who just don't kind of add any value to it and make you feel good can make the whole world of difference. And then you'll have time to reflect on you, reflect on who you want to be, the kind of person you want to be. And when you start putting yourself out there as that person, you'll attract the right kind of people and you will eventually find the people who do you good and who put you up there. Even if it's just someone who you follow on social media, having a good social media clear out of all the accounts that whenever you look at their feed, whenever you open up their photos, make you feel kind of negative about yourself in some way. Even if you don't want to go as extreme as unfollowing them, you can reduce seeing their photos on your timeline, which is a great feature that you can now do on social media. If you don't want to look like you've unfollowed them, then just hide their posts from your feed as at the end of the day, your mental health is more important than whether you've seen and liked their photo. Now I thought I would throw in a bonus tip as this is just something that I thought of the other day and something else that I wanted to add to this video and it is letting go of fear of failure. There's so many times when we'll say no to doing something Thing, simply because we're scared of the outcome. A lot of the time, a lot of the things that we decide to say no to are things that we genuinely would want to do and deep down you know you'd love to achieve in it, but you're scared that you're gonna fail at it. You've got that fear that it's gonna go wrong and it's not gonna turn out how you want it to. However, if it's something that you truly, truly want to do and truly want to have a go at, just do it. If you fail at it or if it doesn't go as planned, then you know you've had that experience of it and it won't be playing on your mind anymore because you know what the outcome was. Whereas if you say no to it, you will never get to know what possibly could have been an amazing thing. And this can even be applied to something just as small as little day challenges, little day tasks that you fear and normally wouldn't do because it pushes you out your comfort zone, but you know that you really want to do them, no matter how big or small that is. Just try and challenge yourself. Try and put that fear back to mind. And again, when you bring your focus to that fear and realize, hang on, I do want to do this, but I'm just a bit scared of doing it. Once you recognize that, you can kind of push that fear aside and just go for it and sometimes the most amazing outcomes will happen so it's definitely worth giving it a shot. I know this video was like a little bit different from my usual kind of content but I really hope you've taken something from this and some of the things that I've said hopefully when you start applying them to your life you'll really start to see a positive change and your mindset will take a shift in the right direction. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you have taken something from it and if you have found it useful in any way. Also be sure to click on that little red subscribe button and down below to see more of my content as well as tapping on that notifications bell so that you're notified whenever I upload and I'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!